All right. The promoters of Issue 3, Penn National Gaming Inc., and Mr. Dan Gilbert, have attempted to conceal the truth about the predatory nature of casino gambling and the fatal flaws in the self-serving proposal they wrote to create their monopoly in our Constitution. They have spent tens of millions of dollars on misleading advertising that falsely claims casinos will be good for Ohio, offering empty promises of jobs and taxes. These distortions have confused many Ohioans who sincerely wish the best for themselves and their fellow citizens in the midst of difficult times. The truth, however, is very different. Issue 3 will harm Ohio because casinos, by their very nature, are predatory. Casinos prey upon the individuals who are enticed to gamble, and they harm the entire communities where they are located. This is why I have led the efforts by the United Methodist Church for 19 years to keep casinos out of our state. Modern casinos rely primarily on video slot machines, the most addictive form of gambling ever invented. The level of pathological gambling will increase by 100% in an area extending 50 miles in every direction from each of the four casinos that are proposed in Issue 3. Casinos bring with them increased crime. The most definitive national studies document crime rates go up 5 to 10% each and every year when a casino is brought into a community. Casinos undermine the existing local economy. Each video slot machine installed at one of the proposed casinos will pull $100,000 out of the local economy. This will result in the loss of one permanent existing job for every slot machine. Issue 3 proposes 20,000 slot machines, and that will eliminate a total of 20,000 existing jobs. Furthermore, all of the social and economic problems related and caused by casinos undermine the budgets of local and state government. For every tax dollar raised by gambling, three tax dollars have to be spent responding to the devastation caused by gambling addiction and gambling-related crime. After months of debate and deception, these facts are now well-documented and indisputable. Now, in the last two weeks, additional information about the unique flaws in this particular gambling proposal have finally been lifted up by the media all across the state of Ohio. Legal and law enforcement experts now insist that Issue 3 would result in Ohio having the weakest oversight of any state that allows casinos. Issue 3 is so narrowly written that it would exempt casino investors and most casino employees from the type of background checks that are required in every other state. The recent news stories about Mr. Gilbert's past gambling arrest and the charges that he has misrepresented the facts about that event serve as an important illustration that the Casino Control Commission should have the authority to investigate anyone who would own a casino facility as well as authority over those who would indirectly control the operations. Sadly, Issue 3 would preclude, prohibit the Casino Control Commission from making a decision on these types of essential matters regarding Mr. Gilbert or any other future potential owners or operators. In light of all of these serious concerns, I am asking the Fraternal Order of Police and every elected official who has previously supported Issue 3 to immediately and completely rescind their endorsements. I am confident that all of these individuals wish the best for the state of Ohio. They were undoubtedly sincere in their initial hopes that Issue 3 would help the citizens of Ohio. However, now the facts are clear. Issue 3 is fatally flawed. It is the worst of all the five casino proposals that have been brought forward and defeated over the past 19 years. Now is the moment for all of us to stand up with a unified voice and say no to issue three. Thank you.